Hello, hello, and welcome to my corner of the internet. Um, see, I told you I had a feeling there was another one. Holmes and Watson, Mitchell and Webb. Last sketch, last episode, I hope it's not like gonna be a dramatic and sad thing because it's like an end of an era in these people's lives. But um, anyway, uh, this is what I was looking for last time. So I had a feeling I didn't have the right thing. It was good and all, but I... I had something different in my mind. Anyway, let's do this. Watson, come in here this instant. Oh, good morning, Dr. Watson. Good morning. And how is he today? Oh, pretty good. He's already cracked the case of keeping the breakfast down, and now he's on to the mystery of the disappearing slipper. Where's my slipper? Is it on your foot? Yes. <laughs> it's very good of you, you know, to come in every day. Well, he has the most brilliantly incisive mind of his generation. Where's my slipper? <laughs> Perhaps you'll take him in an apple. Indeed. Morning, Holmes. Ah, Mrs. Hudson. Have you seen Watson? <laughs> He's just here. Morning, Holmes. Ah, Watson. I can see from the slight traces of mud on your right trouser leg and the fact that you're holding a bunch of geraniums that you're a retired cavalry officer who's just fallen in love with a Mexican. <laughs> Extraordinary, Holmes. Your powers remain undiminished. Can I have my mashed apple? Of course. Delicious. Ah, Mrs. Hudson. Everything all right? Yes, just a slight accident with the mashed apple. Yuck! I think Holmes was afraid it was a trap laid for him by his nemesis, Professor Moriarty. Yes, please. <laughs> well, Holmes, I've, um, I've brought your copy of The Strand magazine. Same headline as always. Hold it still. So, um, how about uh, a bit of a tune on the old Stradivarius? Thank you. <laughs> Enchanting, Holmes. Yeah. You can't go in there. Only one visitor at a time. It's vital that I speak to Mr. Holmes. Oh, boy. Strad, it must be, what, ten years? Dr. Watson, Mr. Holmes. Ah, Mrs. Hudson. No time for tea, Mr. Holmes. There's a problem at the Treasury, and the Prime Minister himself has asked me to consult you. Now, I know it's been quite a while, but as Dr. Watson always says, you've forgotten more about detective work than he and I will ever know. Why have my legs gone warm? Uh, perhaps this is a bad time. A case, you say? Uh... Go on, Inspector. Yes, right. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Holmes, uh, some bullion has disappeared from the vaults beneath the Bank of England. Uh, uh, an inside job, we reckon. This calls for disguise. I'm a Chinaman! <laughs> Where's Holmes gone? Uh, yes, where is Mr. Holmes? Here! Shh! Oh, damn. Bravo, Mr. Holmes. I think you've cracked it. Have I? Of course you did. Just like always. Yes, indeed, Mr. Holmes. Uh, well, I'd better be getting back to the yard and tell everyone that, once again, Sherlock Holmes has saved the day. Hooray! <laughs> well, well, Holmes. Uh, another successful case for me to write up. <laughs> Isn't that right? I know, John. I, 
I, I do know. I can't get the fog to clear. Oh dear, looks like a two-pipe problem. Let's get you cleaned up. Ugh. That was more extremely freaking heartbreaking than anything else. And just sad and painful and horrible. Oh, just freaking a lot of people go through that and it's just horrible for both sides whether it's a mom or a dad or a brother or an uncle or whatever oh man just awful oh that that's quite a way to end the like it's the last sketch of the last episode ever made. That's kind of quite a way to end the the whole thing. Damn, that just totally bummed me out. Um, Robert Webb is an amazing actor, and when he gets misty eyed, I've seen it on Peep Show as well. Oh my god, it just it makes oh. It's just, it, it, his little puppy dog teary face just makes me ball inside. And, um, if they made that a little longer, you guys would have finally, you know, see me break. It would have happened. This is just all ugh, heart wrenching. And just, um, just painful stuff. Kind of went through that a little bit, not super long, anyway, with my grandma, and it was really tough. But um, it doesn't really compare to what I I, I know some people can go through, and just oh my god, I don't even want to think about it. See, I'm so positive and you know happy and jolly because everything that isn't rainbows and puppies and strawberry farts i don't think about <laughs> because otherwise it's just ugh, awful and sad and cold so just put the negative out of mind and stay happy that's that's how i get through life anyway so there you go so as long as this isn't a reality we don't think about it so yeah, I was, I was, ex I didn't see when it said last sketch last episode, that made me think it was going to be kind of a sad situation just because, you know, I like the last episode of Friends or the last episode of the Big Bang Theory or the last episode of anything where it's kind of, you know, they go through that moment where, oh my God, it's been years and this is over. So it has that kind of end, sad ending thing, but, oh, I was not expecting this. Holy crap. Okay. Anyway. Um, happy thoughts. I prefer the other one now. The one, the one I got wrong before. <laughs> anyway, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Um, so yeah, there you go. This was a recommendation, by the way, so <laughs> it's not my fault if you're bummed out. <laughs> I mean, this wasn't my intention at all. I didn't even know. So there you go. I hope you guys have a brilliant end of today and an even more fantastico tomorrow guys live long and prosper <laughs>